Hey everyone, Big Mike here. Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Red. Uh, we are in the middle of Route 1. Just I've just been doing a little bit of grinding out here. Um, I'm not going to be starting and stopping in the same place every video. That would just, you know, take it too long for, to go through everything. But, you know, I've just been doing a little bit of work here on Poncho. Uh, actually, I think Poncho is pretty close to something really important. So let's just see if this is, in fact, what's going to happen. Alright, so Poncho got points. Yay! Poncho grew to level 9. Poncho's stats increased. Hooray for stats. Poncho learned Ember. Ember is Poncho's first fire attack. Fun times. Alright. So a couple things, obviously, that we need to do while we are here out here in uh, Viridian City. One, come we'll go back up here to the store. Now that we've delivered the parcel, we can actually buy a couple things. So... I don't think I'm gonna need that many. I'm not really on a collecting spree today. Uh, maybe I'll buy a couple of antidotes just in case. I, I I have to admit I am pretty stingy when it comes to you know hoarding resources and stuff. So of course there are plenty of people to talk to around here if you need to learn some instruction. Uh, again, you know if you need to look around, there are definitely places to do, uh, people to go see, people to talk to. Potion! In a tree. We'll come back to that tree later. No, maybe not. I don't know. Anyway, so what I'm going to do out here is, this is route, not route 2, I forget what route number this is, but uh, I am in fact looking for a particular friend out here. So... Let's see if this is who it is. If not, I will I will cut to when I find that particular friend. Yay, Poncho grew to level 10. Poncho's statistics improved. Hooray for statistics. Okay, seriously, there is a Spiro out here, isn't there? I remember there being a Spiro. Oh, there you are! Well, gee, I, 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 all I had to do was mention your name and all of a sudden you come pop out. Thank you. Alright, Spiro is going to be our bird type for now. Uh, in all honesty, I don't think Spiro is going to remain in our party for the entire duration of the game, and if so, Spiro is not going to be an important uh, character in our team. I just got a message. Oh, right, Spiro was caught! No, that wasn't the message, but... Oh, I just got a text message as well. So, Spiro also is a, is a bird and has words underneath it, and people can read those words. Do you want to give a nickname to Spiro? Just because Spiro is going to be in our party for a while. Uh, I don't know why this seems like a girl Spiro to me. Again, remember very first gen had no real notion of male and female other than the Nidorans themselves. So I'm just going to call this one Letty. Letty my Spiro. Okay. Letty is short for Leticia. Anyway, Letty, I kind of had to scratch Letty in, up in order just to catch her. So let's go ahead and heal really quickly. Ah. I will meet you back uh, at that corner once I have leveled up uh, Boncho and Letty uh, up, up to a suitable level. So I'll see you guys in a bit. And we're back. Uh, as you guys can see, Letty has grown up to level 8, and Boncho is at level 10. So, you know, I think I've done a good amount of grinding here. Let's go ahead and tackle the Pokemon League while we're at it. Hey! Hey, Augie! You're going to Pokemon League? Forget it! You probably don't have any badges! Garwin went through! By the way, did your Pokemon get any stronger? I hate that voice. So, anyway, yeah, here's Pablo. Pablo now has two Pokemon. Pablo sounds like a Pidgey. Well, good thing we put Poncho out in front. A Pidgey and a Poncho. Or a Pudgy Pidgey. So, of course, right now what we can do is use uh, Ember Attack. Because there's an awesome thing called the same, attack, same type attack bonus. Basically, since uh, Poncho is a fire type, when he uses fire type moves, they are more powerful than if other characters were to use that same power type move. Or fire type move. But another side effect of 
uh, fire attacks is sometimes enemies can get burned. Uh, again, the effect of this is always a little different. Uh, burn actually reduces the uh, player's attack strength. So you guys saw there, I did not get it to hurt for as much when um, Pidgey was burned. Honjo grew to level 11, that's cool, stats are cool. And now we have Squirtle again. Now, Poncho's only is already down to half health, so I'm not sure how well this battle's gonna go, but we'll just keep, we'll try it for Poncho's sake. Alright, unfortunately, Poncho does, may, Macy may have a bit of an advantage now at this point. I don't know, it depends on what Squirtle uses. Okay, it appears as if uh, Squirtle might be letting us off easy. Oh no, Squirtle used Bubble! Water attacks are obviously super effective on fire attacks. Poncho's in trouble. If we were to try and use a fire attack on the water type, it's probably not going to go so well. It's not very effective. But in this case, it was just enough to actually defeat uh, Squirtle. So Augie defeated Pablo. Whew! Oh, you just lucked out. And we got some monies. I heard Pokemon League is tough, many tough trainers. I have to figure out how to get past them. You should quit dawdling and get a move on. What? No. We'll smell you later? Nothing? I mean nothing to you? So, yeah, what Pablo says is correct. We can't actually go and confront the Elite Four until we've earned... <sighs> Stop it, okay. Until we have earned a sufficient number of Pokemon badges. So how do we do that? Well, we're going to have to travel a lot around this great world and battle gym leaders from across the region. So each city will have, or at least all the major cities, will have a gym. Each gym has a leader. If we can defeat that leader, you know, then we're in good spirits. So let's head up to the Viridian City Gym, you know, since we're already here. And let's uh, go ahead and take on this particular gym leader boss. Do do do, walking our way around. The gym's doors are locked. Really? Fine. I guess we I guess we can't work out now. But if not now, when? Uh, let's see, there are words there. I don't know. But anyway, we've seen Viridian City now for the most part. If you talk to this dude, he teaches you how to find missing no. Uh, let's keep going upwards. This is Route 2 now? Yes. Route 2 to Pewter City. So again, I'm not, I haven't decided exactly how much of each video I'm going to keep in. Uh, probably just the actual... You know, like the first time we get to a new region and stuff, I think I'll leave that part in. For now, here's just a brief intro to Route 2. We can't get to that thing yet. Uh, there's that weird looking tree again. We're actually going to have to find a way to remove that little special looking tree. In the meantime, let's head up in here into the Viridian Forest. He says words. Good for him. So out here, uh, in these different regions, we are actually able to find different kinds of Pokemon. So, let's see what kind of creatures we wind up encountering uh, in here. Oh, hey, there's a Pokeball just randomly wandering around. And, yeah, in fact, it is a Pokeball which we can use to capture. Oh, now that we found the Pokeball, we can actually capture something. Wow, this worked out a lot better than I expected. If I, as, as I remember it, in red version, Caterpies are much rarer than Weedles. Make sure you scratch, because otherwise it will definitely kill it. Come on, don't kill it, don't kill it, don't kill it. Yes. So again, um, Caterpie is going to be a temporary member of our team. Uh, probably, Caterpie will definitely not be a permanent member of our team. Uh, however, we're going to use Caterpie, actually, or at least the idea is to use Caterpie uh, in this first gym battle that we can actually use. So, Caterpie has words. And since Caterpie is going to be in our party, I do have to name him something. Uh, I don't know what I want to call Caterpie. This Caterpie seems like a dude, so let's call him Arturo. There we go. Welcome. Bienvenidos, Arturo. So, uh, let's see here. For now, I think what I'll do is I'll just go through the uh, forest 
with Letty and Pancho. <sighs> really? Really? <sighs> you know, I'm gonna be honest. I did not intend... I do not intend to have a Pikachu in my party. However, given the fact that I have this op give the fact that I have this opportunity right here, I'm going to try and catch it. You know, I'm not going to and if I can't catch it, that's too bad. Maybe shoot, it was close. All right, Letty, can you take a thunder shock? It is super effective on you. All right, let's see if we can do one more pick without killing it. Yeah, maybe, maybe that would be enough. I don't know. Of course, now if, uh, you know, we've got this last Pokeball, let's just do it, come on. No guts, no glory. Pulling down ram random combinations of buttons in hopes that they work. No, we lost the Pikachu. That is sad. Oh well. Like I mentioned already, Pikachu is not intended to be a part of our party, but I do wonder if Lifty can hold off on this thing or not. Otherwise, I might have to let uh, Arturo go at it. Oh, there we go. You see, it was that critical hit that I was really afraid of. Oh well, we tried. Um, you know, yeah, I'll, I'll meet you guys back here. All right, guys, welcome back to. Wait, wait, what am I talking about? Welcome back. We haven't left anywhere. This is still part of part one. My gosh, we're in part one and we're already in the Viridian Forest. That's exciting. So you know, it's Weedle is again the more common. Uh, Pokemon that you will find here in the red version. Uh, I, fr I, I don't remember what the actual ratio was, but I just remember Weedle being a very, a lot more common in my version. Likewise, in, I guess, likewise or oppositely, however you want to think about it. I'm not planning on capturing any more Pokemon. However, out here in the Viridian Forest, we do encounter our first round of trainers. Trainers have words that they say. So of course the trainers that are here, since there are a lot of bugs, naturally these dudes like to have bug type Pokemon. Fortunately, it turns out that uh, Letty's Peck Attack, which is a flying move used by a flying type, is in fact super effective against bug type Pokemon. Weedle actually does have a couple of uh, sneaky moves up its sleeve. One is String Shot, like you guys saw that Caterpie had as well. String Shot will slow down your Pokemon. Perhaps to the fact, perhaps to the point, where it will actually uh, be able to go first instead. Sorry, I just randomly changed the palette on my um, Super Game Boy controller. Not intentional. Well, however, if all that they do is just keep doing string shot, string shot, string shot, you know, it kind of makes the point a little, just over exaggerates the point, I think. Uh, however, one good thing about uh, battling these trained Pokemon versus the ones in the wild is that these trained Pokemon. Uh, do carry along with them extra experience because I think it's 50% extra than a while or maybe twice as much. I'm not completely sure. Anyway, Letty also grew a level and Letty learned to read! I'm. I'm. Felicitaciones, Letty! Letty learned to read! <laughs> we now have a reading Spiro. Reading Spiro. Reading Spiro. Um. They added means to read in Spanish, so <laughs> I think my total point of having this Hispanic-oriented <laughs> Pokemon team, I, th I think I just wore out the, the, the joke at level one. <laughs> oh well, or in episode one, sorry, not level one. Uh, but fortunately, one good thing that, uh, oh no, Weedle's other attack is Poison Sting, and in fact, Letty has been poisoned. So what happens with poison type attacks is that after each round in a battle, uh, if the Pokemon is still up and is still in the fight, then it actually loses a little bit of HP as if it's been poisoned, you know, it's slowly deteriorating its health. Uh, out in the wild, or, you know, out in the grassy areas, um, every so often, you will take a step and your Pokemon will lose its HP. So that can be, you know, that is pretty unfortunate. So, you know, it might come into the case where you actually have to rush back to the Pokemon Center, make sure you know where it is so that you can get there in as few moves, a few steps as possible, because that could determine whether or not your Pokemon survives its trip back. 
Letty's already learned to level, grown to level 10. That's amazing. Good job, Letty. Huh? He said words. That's amazing. Alright, fortunately, we did prepare ourselves for a situation like this. Antidote will, in fact, cure poison ailment. So we do have that mid bit going for us here as well. I'm trying to remember, are there any. Oh, here's a thingy. Hello, thingy. And hey, well, you know, we just found another antidote lying around on the floor. Ain't that cute? I remember. I, for some reason, I thought there was something up here, but maybe not. I can't remember. It's been so long since I've seen the forest for the trees. But anyway, we're actually kind of almost towards the end of the forest already. Again, the, these for some of these sections are not very long at all, but they do have myriad Pokemon, or not a myriad, just a, a, an assortment of Pokemon that we can uh, examine and stuff like that. So another one that you saw was Weedle's evolved form, Kakuna. Uh, Kakuna's specialty is that it can harden and, and increase its defense. However, while Kakuna only know how to harden their defense. They have no attack, regular attack mechanisms at all. However, if we were to train a Weedle up into a Kakuna, then it would still retain the original moves that it had learned as a, you know, as a Weedle. Uh, this is, I believe, our last bug trainer for now, for this whole Viridian Forest section. Uh, this Weedle, again, in, t in terms of uh, Pokemon evolution, uh, Weedle evolves at level 7 into Kakuna, and then if you can get a Kakuna up to level 10, uh, it evolves into its ultimate form, uh, Beedrill. Likewise, Caterpie has a very similar transfer, uh, evolution phase. At level 7, it evolves into one called Metapod, which will, uh, I'll probably skip over that entire scene. I might just show the, me the Caterpie is evolving scene. I haven't really decided yet. But the fact is, we're already, uh, pretty much here at the end of the forest. I knew that kid had dropped something, and you know what? I'm gonna try and give it back to you. Oh, fine. You don't want it back? That's cool. All right. So this is uh, this is the end of the Viridian Forest. Uh, up here is this the very tippy top of Route Two. Um, it is the same kind of Pokemon. I believe it's the same kind of Pokemon that we saw back. Uh, well, I guess we didn't actually encounter any Pokemon down there. But it would be the same. It would be the same kind of Pokemon. That we had seen be, uh, before we had got entered the Viridian Forest, so there is that going out for us. So I just go, went ahead and healed up right now. Uh, we are already here in Pewter City. Um, there's some stuff to do. Maybe you could go to the museum, uh, go to the item shop. You know, if you might need some more potions, new Pokeballs. If you really are trying not to capture some new enemies or not enemies, but friends, you are trying to recruit new amigos for your for your party. Anyway, this is going to conclude part one, or episode one of Let's Play Pokemon Red. So this is Big Mac saying, later.